Hello, Miss Ann. How are we doing today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fine. I'm looking forward to hearing about your new class, Building the Scene with Painting. I'm ready to talk about it. Yay! Tell me a little bit about your Building the Scene for Painting Deeper Stories class. This is a series that I am going to be focusing on natural elements, nature elements. The um, first part is going to focus on grass, trees, and rocks. Ooh. I'm setting it up so that an individual can gain confidence if they're a beginner and learn how to work with acrylics if they've never worked with acrylics before or Ooh. try to extend their range. They may never have worked with nature elements before, and this will help them gain some confidence in that subject matter. They're going to learn how to use brushes perhaps a little differently than maybe what they have been either trained for or used to doing on their own. Because I don't really go in there about focusing on detail details. I'm more about just smearing in color and then adding just a few details to focus on what the subject matter is. Sounds like there's a lot. It, there is gobs that a person can get from these videos that I've put together. I've kept them kind of not really simple, but they're going to learn how to construct a tree. They're going to learn what it is that, that makes grass look like grass. And a rock look like a rock. I'm setting them up so that a beginner is going to gain confidence in working with acrylics as well as an intermediate painter who will grow their range or for the accomplished painter who's looking for just ready practice. Okay, so I'm a bit new to acrylics and it seems a little intimidating, the idea of doing a tree or a rock. Are you going to teach us step by step? It'll be step by step. Basically, my classes are, there's a no stress zone. We are not stressing over the subject that we're getting ready to explore because it's no mistakes. It's just a layer. It's just a layer. It's just another layer. If you're not particularly comfortable with what went on the canvas, that's okay. Because it, it just becomes a little deeper process of a layer. And the beauty of layers is that your depth grows. Okay. So you're so, going to show me how to, how to do everything. And if I make a mistake, it'll just be part of it. And, and you'll show me how to handle that. Yes, ma'am. Well, that sounds awesome. And I'm just going with shapes right now. Don't worry about any brush strokes because that becomes texture. You can see the darkness in this reference. This is the same one that's in your PDF, but if you look at it in person, you're going to be able to see where all the darkness is to use for your underlayment. Not going to matter if it plays close attention to your reference or not. Each tree is unique. And it's just really totally not going to matter. Thank you for the first practice. We'll be doing other trees and each tree will have its own uniqueness. But this little bit of guidance in the anatomy of a tree. You can scrub with your brush. You can scrub with your fingers. You can scrub with a paper towel. Whatever you're comfortable with and getting that color. Whatever you want to use to get those layers going so that when I go in there with that lighter yellow it's still going to be visible underneath it. Coming in here with a little bit of mostly iron oxide with the glaze to give this area just a little tiny bit more depth. a 
add in as much white as you want to to uh, be your cloud coverage. This is a kind of a, a gray day to fit the mood of what I've got outside today. You can go off of it, come back in, have a little bit of this third rock over here if you want to. Make it even smaller. Kind of go out in nature and actually examine what that looks like so that you can get an idea for where you want to take your, your rock formation. You can see in my, my added layers that I am developing the crooks and crannies and the deeper shadowing of where the sun is not hitting and these two rocks are sitting together. But now I'm going to work a little bit on the trees in the background. This could be done. And it for most practical purposes probably is done. I will post in your PDF file the final outcome of what I decide my rock is. But in essence you've watched this rock grow and just keep practicing your rock. Those are the three lessons that we're going to explore and then we're going to pull it all together by bringing those three elements into a painting that isn't so much just a picture from nature or go sit outside and, and uh, paint a block of trees, grass, and, and rock. I want them to actually step out, I challenge in them, step outside that comfort zone and try to create this from their imagination. So they're going to create a scene. Mm -hmm. You paint what's not visibly there, but what you can create in your mind. Pull all your elements together, grass, trees, and rocks. Layering really is a process for all of your mediums, whether you're using watercolor, oil, the acrylic, it, it's all, all of it's about layering. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some more of my branches for my dead leaves and then come back in and start adding in my bright color for the sun coming right from the front. So what happens if I have a question during class? If you have a question, I've set up, I'm going to set up uh, a Facebook page that is going to be closed so nobody's going to be watching what we do. It's strictly for student and teacher. You can ask a question there. Everybody's welcome to jump in and converse about it and explore the answer. Mm -hmm. Or you can email me if you would prefer to have a more private one-on-one -on -one uh, discussion about it. Okay, so if I think my question's silly, I can ask you privately because I don't want to embarrass myself. That's that's totally fine. Although there are no silly questions. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Am I going to share photos or of my paintings during class? I encourage everyone to show their progress, to show their paintings uh, that are finished show anything else that you're working on. Um, it is totally a classroom where we're, we're in, encouraging camaraderie. We want everyone to participate, and I hope they do. It's, it makes the class more of, a, uh, of an experience to where you feel like you're there one-on-one -on -one in, in, a, in a live classroom. Yeah, so, one of the things I love about art classes and painting classes is that the inspiration you get from seeing each other's work. Very inspiring. And it helps it helps to validate what you're doing. Because, oh look, I, I'm I'm there. I'm I'm doing what I had hoped and aspired. And look, I'm doing it. <laughs> it's that easy. It really is. It's easy, a lot easier than I think. Yeah, way easier than you think. Cool. What if I've never painted before? Perfectly fine. Do I need a lot of stuff for class? You don't really need a lot of things for class. I have a materials list. If you're comfortable with mixing paint, 
to achieve your 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 light, medium, and dark values, by all means, mix. I am providing the the list of ready-made pigment for those that are not comfortable. There's no way to really say that do I need a lot of materials because some might want to get them all, some might not need them all. Most people probably already have them. So we're going to work mainly with colors that come straight out of the tube? Yes. Okay, so that so I don't have to know a lot about mixing or anything to take class. And what about no. the acrylic? If you do, the mediums, um, we're going to be using just one medium in this segment. It is the broadest range of the mediums for using with acrylics. But I do encourage using mediums with acrylics because they work the best with your acrylics to extend the life of the paint. If you're going to want to achieve the results similar to what I'm offering in the lessons, then I do encourage that you use what I'm using. So, so. Um, I think you said, you told me once before, it's going to be like a glazing medium. Is that right? It is a glazing medium. If you use this acrylic glazing medium, it does everything from keep your paint moist to correct mistakes. Hmm. So you can actually correct mistakes with it. You can actually correct mistakes with it, and it actually gets up spills. I think we've talked once before about like when you use the mediums, um, you actually end up using less paint, and that the paint's the expensive part. That's true. The mediums extend your. You really only need like three dots, and you keep mixing it with your medium to range your paint out. That is how you can get a light, a medium, and a dark of that same color. Cool. And all that's shown in the videos. Yay! <laughs> all this is shown in the videos. And truly, you only need one brush to get through the whole thing, although I recommend two. Do I have to go outside and find a scene and paint it, or is it like one I make up in my head? The final will be one that you make up in your head, but I do encourage you to go out in nature and study how nature sits. Study the, the sun, study the shadows from different points of the day, because those all play in how you highlight your, your painting. What's different or unique about your approach compared to other teachers? I've given this a little bit of thought, and typically when I've gone to different workshops and what have you, it is encouraged to block things in, like it's more of we're going to put a rock here and we're going to put a tree here and our background's going to be here so you would paint in your background up to where that tree is going to be and and what have you if you want to think about it that's fine go in with a little tiny bit of i'm going this is my tree so i'm going to mark it kind of thing but that's your that's a layer then you just go in and you start smearing stuff on it and you start building your layers as opposed to leaving blank spaces. Oh, I've seen that before, where like somebody's working on a painting and they're going to put like a vase in the middle and they mm -hmm. just leave that blank and they paint like all around the vase and then they start working on the vase. Right. Yours aren't like that? Not at all. Oh, cool. I, I am, we're about building our layers. We're going to build our layers. Your class sounds like a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you can enjoy it with me and everybody else and see you in Facebook class and yeah in the Facebook group yeah we'll have a big time <laughs> okay